Hey guys, it's Keisha here at Chanted Dreamcatcher back with a, another video. In this video we're going to, I wanted to talk a little bit about my tattoos. As you can see, as you probably would have seen from various videos and vlogs, I have one, two, three, four, yeah, five tattoos at the moment. I'm going to be getting a, another tattoo uh, when I go to America in just over two months, two months? Yeah, just over two months time, I'm going to be getting a another tattoo as my last two tattoos I got I found a real like when me and my sister went to America last time which is two years ago this coming October if you watch my America vlog from then you'll see a little bit in the tattoo shop is that we found a really awesome tattooist who is like super young he's like 22 or something he owns his own tattoo shop in Ohio we found through like a friend of a friend on Facebook and yeah he's really awesome and like literally and when I got my tattoo tattooed by him I was like right I don't want anyone else to tattoo me like literally only I only want him to tattoo me so yeah so I'm really excited so I'm trying to think of what I want slash where I want it I was thinking of having some sort of fairy butterfly thing that sort of goes up onto my shoulder or I may just have butterfly I don't know or possibly having another dream catcher or some sort of quote on my arm I'm not too sure what I'm gonna have yet but yeah so I will let you know when I decided what I'm gonna do so yeah so let's get into it so as I said I currently have five tattoos I got my first tattoo when I was 20 23 23 yeah I think it was 23 when I got my first tattoo so my first tattoo was these um sort of like a uh, chain of butterflies I got done it no regrets it took like two hours and something like two hours it costs like 150 or something like that but I just chose a few butterflies. I've always wanted that, like for years, I've always wanted a chain of butterflies around my wrist. And I do really like it. Um, it needs touching up, like the colours and stuff. I feel like it needs to be a bit more, a bit more vibrant. But I'm not going to do that right now. So I've had this tattoo. Uh, how many years have I had this tattoo now? Like eight years? Yeah, so it's lasted like pretty well. And when I went to get tattooed, they thought they weren't sure because of my skin colour whether colours would actually show up on me. But yeah, because I'm actually not really that dark. So yeah, so colours do show up. So I was like, yeah, please colour me up. So yeah, so just three butterflies. I wish when I had got it done because I wanted the chain to go right round to loop round i wish he'd done either made these butterflies a bit bigger so they touch like these two or put an additional butterfly in this gap like so they actually completely join up but they don't completely join but it's fine i do i do really love it so that was my first tattoo and then a couple of years later when I was 20 was it a couple of years no a year later I think it was when I was 24 I went and got take this <laughs> hair bubble <laughs> I went and got this tattoo which is a fairy I um always loved fairies always had affinity for fairies I'm an eclectic fairy Wiccan and I just wanted as well as loving butterflies so I wanted to, to, to have that inked on my body I also wanted to have something to represent my fairy faith and I was actually shopping with my mom got this is a few years before and in Waterstones we were looking at the cards and we both saw this card with a fairy like a birthday card of the fairy on it and we were both and we were both like oh my god it looks so pretty as a tattoo so I was, so I've always just sort of just sort of like bought the card and kept it and then like a few years later I was like yeah I want to get that as a tattoo so that took again like a couple of hours was about 150 I think so literally it's exactly as the card like 
she had a little wand she's sort of like a whimsical like little girl and they're sort of like the pink um just sort of like pink shading it's just literally just exactly as the card so yeah she's really pretty i love her and yeah so and then my next tattoo and i didn't get another tattoo it must be oh it must it's gotta be probably a few years later me and my sister wanted my sister hadn't had any tattoos by that point so this was her first tattoo me and my sister wanted a um like a some sort of sister tattoo and i found like a really pretty sister um tattoo like online like of two little girls and it's a sister and then we put the year like sisters and put the year that we were the years we were born and we went to um someone that we know that's local to us um and that's the result you can't really see it but i don't neither of us it's underneath my fairy one neither of us are happy with how it turned out like it's supposed to be like that's a little girl on the swing with her hair down and then my sister's got a little girl on the swing with her hair in a bun and then it's just got sisters in black and it's got 87 which one i was born and then 94 my sister was born and we just i just don't like it like if i turn i feel like way he's done it like if i turn my arm as well it sort of stretches weird so we are going to get it covered up with something else we've been thinking like for a while i'm not sure what to get it covered up with but at some point we will get them covered because we're not feeling that <laughs> but yeah so that's that and then oh, and then another few years before i got my last two tattoos when i last went to america so it'll be two years this coming october to stay with my dad for a couple of weeks me and my sister and my niece went for yeah went for a couple of weeks um beforehand because it was going to be it was approaching my 30th birthday i wanted a like nice tattoo or something to sort of like you know celebrate that or whatever so that was when we found the tattooist um james online and organized that and he's like he has a really awesome tattoo shop like if i remember i'll lo link my vlog below so you can check out um so you can check out you have to scroll through my vlog it's quite long find the bit where the tattoo shop but yeah he does really awesome tattoos and yeah so i wanted a dream catcher for so long and i found one that i quite liked on pinterest sent it to him like to go on my foot and he changed it up a little bit and yeah. right then so this is my dream catcher on my foot let me pull my jean up a little bit hard for you to see in this light but it is actually purple or like shaded with purple different shades of purple and it obviously has got the beading and it's really pretty with the two feathers and yeah so that cost me like 100 and, 100 and something dollars um it took a couple of hours going up to the bone like near the bone there it was so painful like unbelievably painful but i do really love it so yeah i do really love it it was <laughs> so painful and then and then long story short so after i got that i wasn't planning on having any more tattoos because we got that towards the end of our trip in america and then we ended up having delays at the airport which meant we missed our flight and then they couldn't book us on another flight for a few days so we ended up with an extra few days in america and i was like talking to my mom on the phone and like talking about my tattoo and stuff and I was like, oh, I really love it. And she was like, oh, why don't you get another one while you're still there? And I'll pay for it for you as part of your birthday present. So I literally, that day, like, it's so... I'm going to ask my sister, ask anyone that knows me, it's so not, not like me, as I'm not spontaneous in the slightest. Like, I went... I went there and I was like... I went, had a look on Pinterest to see something, to see what sort of things I liked. And then I saw a, like this, I saw a butterfly, half butterfly with, and then the other half of the wings was like with different flowers. And I saw that and I was like, 
I saw that I was like oh wow I really love it so literally I sent it to him and he was like oh come on in so literally we went drove down and I literally went and got this like when it got tattooed it was like so crazy but yeah it was really awesome so I, I love it and yeah so that's literally all five of my tattoos and little story behind them were they paying for yes I'm not gonna lie and sugarcoat it for you I personally found them really painful people were like who's i feel like people say oh you don't really feel it it's just a tiny little scratch of lying it is really painful and i think it's better to be honest of you to know like off the bat when you go but it is super painful and that you and that just something that you need to be prepared for I always had this fear that the pain was going to be so bad that I wouldn't be able to finish the tattoo and that was always a fear of mine the pain was going to be so bad that I was going to be like oh stop and then I'd only end up with half a tattoo but I think because it is bad pain you do sort of get numb but I think because you're so wanting to see the finished project that you just like you just get on with it sort of thing you just sort of just carry it on because you want to see it through to the end and yeah so you just see it through so yeah it's super painful i bruise quite easily anyway so each tattoo i've had i have been really really swollen for days weeks a lot of bruising um i bleed a lot getting tattoos some people aren't too bad but i remember a tattoo is saying to me before but i do have like to call it simply quite thin skin which is really good for tattooing that makes it easier to tattoo but it means that i do bleed a lot so when i get tattooed i do bleed a lot um yeah i mean i remember when i got my f um my ankle oh god that was horrendous um it was as in it was just really friggin so it was just so it was the most my most painful tattoo i would say definitely they do say the foot foot is one of the most painful places tattoo wise that you can get tattooed i suppose because there's not too much flesh there and you've got all the bone and stuff that is super painful i think that in the ribs is supposed to be like some of the most painful places you can get tattoos and i can attest to the foot it was super painful and is it i did swell a lot i mean literally i couldn't i couldn't wear trainers still for oh god it's gotta be a good couple of months after i got tattooed i literally just lived in like ballet pumps like all winter <laughs> because um even like a month or two after and i tried to put trainers, my foot was still so it just hurt to put trainers on trainer on my foot like to cover try and put my foot in to cover anything on the top it just hurt so yes yeah, so i sort of lived in ballet pumps for a couple of months after but yeah it was definitely worth it i just really like tattoos i love the sort of story like behind them and stuff and you sort of get a look into someone's sort of personal journey and all that sort of stuff which i think is really awesome so yeah i would um definitely recommend finding someone that you really finding someone or a tattoo place that is reputable that you've seen that you've seen their work and you know that and that what they're like and their hygiene and things like that i think you really have to do your research before you go somewhere to get tattooed and also as well find something that resonates with you something that you're not going to hate in like a couple of months and you're gonna have to get covered up but i do i personally chose stuff that represents like my path and my faith like my dream catcher obviously represents my brand represents me my sort of like part native american heritage and i've just always had such a love for an affinity for dream catchers the butterflies obviously anyone that knows me i'm sure you guys know literally I've been butterfly obsessed ever since I was a tiny girl. Everything's always, anyone knows that I'm literally butterflies are just me. And then the fairy as well represents my fairy wicked faith. Um, obviously my sister one represents my bond with my sister. And I do really want to get like a really nice sort of 
um something like possibly like with a, a pentagram or pentacle uh like a broom like something to represent my sort of my um my wiccan faith as well so i'm sort of trying to find something really cool that i don't know something so yeah so i'm literally just like scouring like pinterest and google and stuff like trying to find something awesome that's gonna look amazing and that uh, resonates with me and that i'll love to look at and have on my body for the rest of my life so <laughs> yeah so i would i love looking at tattoos i love hearing stories behind tattoos so if you have any tattoos that you want to share please like comment below with any pictures things like that and i would also love if you've done videos or things as well on your tattoos like to like share them below as i love looking at tattoos and and also as well if you are an artist like really good at, um or you're an artist and you can draw and stuff i please like dm me or whatever as i would love to I'd love to get something created like that's personal so yeah please get in touch and so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted